no. The clone, it almost looked like the clone took two hits. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, the clone just kind of, like, stopped its hitbox and just it just kept going. Yeah, like, wow. So, the, <laughs> I mean, we also saw something really weird in that match where uh, after the grab throw, he ended up on the wrong side of Dab, yeah, which I've he, never he, seen Yeah, he, like, before. rolled back into him. He's like, where'd you go? Yeah. Oh, she's behind me. <laughs> so, congratulations, Killstreak. Unfortunately, not the top two placing he needed for points. He still did make the semis. He's still going to get points. That's but still a lot of points. That means that this next two weeks is crunch time for him. He has to make the semis at the very least. Mm -hmm. Dab is, once again, he's kind of a scumbag right now, cruising in semis. <laughs> eh. Yeah, but you know what? Interestingly enough, I don't believe Dab has won a single week this season. I so this could be has. his first win. All of his points has come from either being in the top two or the top four. <laughs> yep. All right, so now we're moving on to the next match, which is going to be Scar, Scar versus, versus Nupcakes. Nup All right. <laughs> now, this should be an interesting matchup. We don't really have too many Demolition Sonyas in SoCal. So no. knowing this matchup is not easy. And I mean, really, there aren't any Demolition Sonyas like Scar that I've seen. I mean, we I guess you could say we had Crazy Steady. Round that, one. That's true, but he, we haven't played, seen him for quite a while. We didn't really see him go to locals, yeah, so. All right, so I think in this matchup, Nubcakes really needs to play defensively and not try to rush in. Yeah. Especially with those grenades. I mean, that's going to control a lot of the screen for him. And the health sparks, I mean, like we just saw there, if Scar is able to place them, or excuse me, space himself properly, his grenades are going to punish almost every time. Yep. But, you know, the one tool that Shunk does have that should be really good against grenades is enhanced scoop. As soon as she yes. throws them, she can be scooped. Especially if he's trying to do it at the end of a string to potentially make it safe, that's going to be a punish. Yeah. Unless unless Scar does absolute perfectly safe setups, it will be a oh, punish. That was, wow, that was a lot of damage off of a throw. That was neat. I like that setup. And unfortunately, that was a wasted bar for Nubcakes. It was. Ooh, and this should be the start of pressure. Shinnok, of course, gets the restand every time he hits you. Ooh, but interestingly enough, just he decides wants to, put to go for zone. Screen. He wants his zone. I, I, and on paper, I mean, yes, Shinnok has better zoning. Ooh, nice. Oh, that was a bad break. He wasn't going to get anything off of that. Oh, no. All right, still, Sonya has no grenades right now. This is actually Shinnok's time to go in, but unfortunately, Nubcakes. Yeah, he, gets he needed to do a though. few more health sparks when there were no grenades present. Yeah. I mean, the grenades are the only thing that should really make Shinnok hey, afraid of using health sparks. And again, like I said, how did you get a twenty? What? Uh, Nubcakes vote voted two, I guess. Oh. I was like, really a twenty? I didn't even know that option was on the wheel. <laughs> it's like secret. You gotta open up the next Shinnok. wheel. Can input like a code, a combat code. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I actually really dislike this costume for Shinnok. Uh, the samurai. I, I think his other two costumes are awesome. Uh, it's it's not that. It's not that it's poorly designed, it's just like, I prefer to see Shinnok in all of his evil glory, you know? It's like, in this, I don't really think we see it. That's true. I mean, I don't know, maybe the armor helps against these explosions that he's suffering from right now. I will say I really like the bone stuff that's going on in the back, though. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's the, I think it's just the helmet that throws me off. I don't know. That's just a personal gripe. I apologize. Fair enough. And, man, Scar just absolutely dominating this pressure. All right, Nubcake's finally getting a turn. Again, sending Scar full screen. Wow, just goes for the armor. Very nice. Goes to Hell Sparks. All right, here's another full combo. Now, Shinnok does, Bone Shaper Shinnok in particular, does need meter for combos, but he builds it so fast. Yeah. Especially with all the pressure he does put out. Oh, and, oh, not great blocks by Nubcakes, and that should be the kill off wow. of the throw setup. Wow, that's incredible. Round but man, Nubcakes has fight. actually been getting hit by almost everything. My favorite part of this stage, real quick to detract from this match, is that guy in the background that just gets killed. I know! <laughs> like, he's got a gun, he's fighting these two little baby dogs. Yeah, and like, he's like, oh, oh it's dogs! And he's like, ah! Oh. And then they, they actually kill him. And, and like, he has a gun, right? I know! What? How does he <laughs> miss that? What is he, a stormtrooper? Like, they're right in front of him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, those dogs, dude. They... they Dogs should be in combat pack. Too. That is disgusting. 25% for a throw. I know, it's such a good setup. And he's landed every single yeah. time. And even if you, there's nothing you do, if you tech the throw, you still get hit. 
Yep. Oh, and that should be the kill here. Yeah. Again, go for that throw. Nasty. That is hitting up cakes every <laughs> single time. He really needs to like find a way out of that. Just jump. Just jump more, you know? Jump armor scoop. I mean Pay yeah. your respect. You know what would be a really good option? Two in back a lot dashes, of these... honestly. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> he just backdashes all three of the bombs. Yeah, because he would backdash the first two with invincibility, I think. Or the first one at Probably. least. Probably. And then at least it would get him out of there. Yeah. But you, you know what else he could do? His shoulder charge. Shoulder charge moves Ooh, forward so we fast. I've actually seen that move from him once tonight. Yeah, I agree, and I think we should see it. I mean, it will get him out of the range of those bombs. <laughs> I stand corrected. Apparently, he used it to to get away from uh, Puggles. Oh, uh, and then that match. Oh, interesting. We were both wrong. Yeah, I, I don't I didn't remember seeing that either. I guess it just happened so fast. Maybe they're watching different matches than we are. Maybe yeah, they that are. That must be it. Yeah. They, we're not actually commentating the matches. They're, they're, they're having other people commentate the matches, and we're just in a, in a room alone, just like, a little bit think that they're doing something. All right, again, getting hit by those grenades. Nubcakes is not respecting those at all. All right, no meter here for the conversion. Oh. oh again, just getting hit by the grenade. This is definitely, I mean, not even so much so much a lack of matchup knowledge, but a lack of respect here by Nubdowns. Again. Literally almost every single raw grenade is hitting Nubkins. And Scar just really taking advantage of it. Alright, here's the corner mix up. Nice! Goes for nice. the meterless Very wake nice. up. That is one of the best options in that situation. Mm -hmm. It's one of the better options Round in the game, to be honest. Fight. It is. At the very least, all you do is you roll away and you're safe. The only downside is that you lose grenades. All right, so Nubcakes is gonna break in order to keep momentum, but unfortunately, Scar is going to have none of it. And again, Nubcakes getting hit by a raw grenade, and honestly, I just don't see him making the comeback here. He He's not blocking nearly enough, he's not blocking the grenades, he's not scooping them on reaction. We, in fact, we haven't seen one enhanced scoop on reaction to anything this entire set. That's, wow, that's gonna be it. Scar, very convincing in every game. I mean, Nubcakes didn't really Get a chance? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, eating 25% for a grab too. I mean, <laughs> three times wins. in one round, that was very rough. Yeah. So Sonya, best grappler in MKX? <laughs> <laughs> I High think that actually grappler. does more damage than Jax's EX grab. It, I really think it does. It does. It does. Jax's does 19. Yeah. And uh, I mean, the highest damages are 20. 20 from Sun God Kotal, 20 from Commando Kano, yeah. so technically, yeah, she's got the highest <laughs> damage grab, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Ooh, and look at that. Kobe! Oh, like he's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, so Gosh. dirty. I love these replays. Shout out to our, our three play man. D Chow, I see you. Find him on the credits, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So UA Scar is going to move up for much needed points. Unfortunately, those are points that Nubcakes really needed as well. I mean, ugh, I know. He he. But you know what? Both him and Killstreak are going to get a lot of points for fourth place. Yes, yes, I mean, they are. That's getting a, a lot of points, and on top of that, he still has a chance to come back next week. Yep, two more weeks. Yep. I'm just saying, next week. Yeah, well, that's technically there well, isn't yeah. a next week. In, in three weeks. In three weeks, correct. So we are now slated for our finals of week six. It is going to be Noble Dab versus Ultra Arcade Scar. Make sure you are following us on Twitter at ESL Mortal Kombat as well as at NetherRealm. And find us on Facebook. Let us know what you think of this week's finals. Because when we come back, we're going to have Dab versus Scar for ESL MKX week six. And it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned, guys. Thank <laughs> you.